Today we are going to slice and dice, use and abuse, and we're doing it with the Makita 36 volt reciprocating saw. We'll go over all the specs, I'll show you this thing in action, show you some of the cool features, talk about some of the features that aren't on this, and talk about the overall performance. Now I would like to say that this was sent over by International Tool for us to take a look at, and absolutely not Makita. So thank you to International, I'll put a link in the description below for this saw, you can check it out. So definitely not one of the newest Recep saws to hit the market. It's been out for a few years now, but it's still a big major player in the game. All right, so let's get into this, shall we? Now, this is, again, a 36 volt. It's the LXT brushless model. You're going to have to use two batteries. It does not run off of just one. Up until about a year ago, I had somewhat of an issue with the two battery platform, but as I've heard your comments, it sort of grew on me because the batteries from Makita are very good and they don't take long to charge at all. So instead of charging a larger battery, you know, it's not really all that bad. But if you don't have two batteries in, it will not work. You have to have the two. The one thing that I noticed right off the bat was really how comfortable this thing was. And that is what I will give credit to, to Makita all day long. They might not be the most powerful or quickest tools out on the market, but they are definitely smooth and comfortable to use. Another feature that I really like about this is not only do you have that variable speed trigger, but you have one, two settings, right? So you have a, a lock, basically. You have a one right there, which is a lower speed, and then you got a number two right there, which is your quicker speed. And before I forget, this thing only weighs 9.3 pounds with both batteries in, so super light. You got one and a quarter inch stroke length on this, 3,000 strokes per minute on metal cutting, 2,300 strokes per minute for wood. But we're going to talk about more of the features here as we go. We're going to start slicing into dicing. We're going to let you hear this thing. We got some treated 4x6 right here, some nasty stuff. Let's see what this thing can do. We're starting it off on the number one setting. Really controlled, really nice and smooth cuts. Vibration not that bad for a recip saw. Well, that was real nice, like. Now, we're going to move it up to speed, too, but only if you smish that like button. All right, some really controlled cuts. Really, really simple to do. And just super light. Feels great in the hands. Let's keep going. And just on a side note, I'm really starting to enjoy these Dewalt blades. And you can consider that 2x6 sliced and diced. But let's do a different angle for you. I'll show you this thing here in action. Now, you're probably asking yourself, well, where's the orbital action? Well, there ain't any. And if you say that ain't ain't a word, it is on the TRZ channel. Now, I'll be honest with you, I was really surprised not to see orbital on here. It's actually cutting through really quickly. A lot of that has to do with blades and such and blah, 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 blah. But that being said, would have been nice to see that on there. A lot of people don't use it. A lot of people actually say they don't like orbital action, but to each their own. I'm just pointing it out. There is no orbital action on this saw. I will say this, however, and I'm not sure why I feel this way, but this is probably the most fun I've had using a recip saw up to now. Maybe I was just in the mood to slice and dice, but there definitely is something about this saw. I don't know if it's the, the weight or the way it feels or just having a little bit of power with the lightness. I, I don't know, but it's just really kind of fun to use. And I think of people that work over their heads all the time, if they're cutting something, rafters or whatever, I think you're really going to like this just because of the weight. Now, you're looking at the two batteries and you're saying, well, it's going to add that extra poundage, but it really doesn't. It's just a very well-balanced recip saw 
And again, I'm just having a lot of fun using this thing. Now we are going to put this up against other recip saws, but even without the orbital action, I'm not having any issue cutting through a lot of stuff. Now I know there's a lot of holes in here or whatever. The other pieces that we cut did not have those holes and it was going through rather quickly. Now as for the variable speed, I mean it's all right. It's not the best I've used, but it is there and you also do have that one and two setting. Another thing that I did notice about this is that that blade stops extremely quick. As soon as you let go of the trigger, it just stops. So you can go from one cut to the next cut to the next cut. And you do have that electronically controlled mumbo jumbo in there that will basically give it more power or reduce the power depending on what you're doing. Basically, it'll help you conserve your runtime on the batteries. Now, as for the feel of this saw, we sort of touched base on that, but it is really, really nice. I really like how it tapers down towards the front and you can wrap your hand around this thing. And it also has those grooves in there where it doesn't slide around or slip. So that's a really nice touch on this saw. And let me give you just one more thing here that I really like. As with this being very smooth and controlled in operation. Yeah, check it out. That's real nice like. Well, I'll tell you what. Let me start this clip over again. I'll let you hear the variable speed. So this is the first setting. We're going very slow. And faster. And faster. And faster. Now let's move it over to the second speed. Very nice. But here's the other thing that I like. When I first got this, I was like, it's broken. I couldn't like turn it and loosen it. And then I was like, oh, you just slide that blade in and it automatically cranks down. Let me show you that here again in a different angle. You just crank it and it stays open. You put that blade in and then it automatically locks it in. So that's really cool. And then when you go to take it out again, it'll stay open for you. So I really, really like that feature. You also have a LED light right up on front. As soon as you pull that trigger, you can see that it's shining bright. Not the brightest that I've ever seen, but it's out of the way and it will definitely illuminate that area if you are working in darker conditions. So I'm happy. Just pull that trigger. Yeah, see that? Oh, right, right there. Oh, yep. There it is. Don't forget to subscribe. Maybe hit that bell notification too so you don't miss out on any new videos. All right, let's talk about a couple downers real quick. Adjustable shoe, nap, it's not on here. You can take the shoe off if you wanted to, but yeah, you, you, you can't adjust it. So, bummer. You also don't have that orbital action like we talked about. However, you do have the rafter hook, which works very, very well. You know, it's a little bit larger, so you can put this on just about anything you freaking want. Check this out. We'll throw it up here on our 2x6 like so. But again, love the feel of the saw. I really did have a good time using this saw. It, it was just, I don't know, there was something about it. I don't know if it was just a build. The feel, it, it's balanced well, even with the two batteries on the back. It's just, it was just a really nice saw to use. It's definitely not the most powerful out there, but, you know, other than a missing orbital, you know, and the adjustable shoe, you, you do have that really nice rafter hook. Um, it's just a, it's just a really fun saw to use. I think anybody that uses, uh, uses this saw, I think, I think you're going to be happy with it. I think the build quality is there. I think they did a really good job with that. I think they went the extra mile with that texture, you know, and that ribbing over there. So your hands don't slide. The back over there, you got some texture over here. All in all, it's just a really nice saw, and I would definitely check it out. I'll leave a link in the description for you to check out. I hope you like this video. Of course, I would love to hear your feedback. What do you think of this saw? Have you used it before? If you have, what do you think of it? What didn't you like about it? What did you like about it? I'm curious. Again, leave a comment in the comments section. If you like this video, please smash that like button. It's very much appreciated. We'll be back with more videos soon, so make sure you get subscribed and hit that bell notification. Thanks again, all.